Hi everyone, welcome to episode 29 of Discovering Knitting. I am Darlene, and before I get started on this video and this completed work, uh, please consider subscribing, liking this video, watching my other videos, commenting, and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, you can follow me on Discovering Knitting, well, Discovering underscore Knitting on Instagram, and I post everything that I do knitting-wise. Now let's go ahead and get started. This, as many of you may know, if you've watched my previous video, is the Shaker's Rib sweater that I've been working on. My first time completing a sweater. If you see my past videos, you know that I've been working on a mohair sweater and I just kind of gave up on that one. <laughs> so this one, because it was so large and because it was kind of an easy, well, the, the, mohair, the mohair was easy too, but I, I don't know, I just finished this one it has imperfections as you can see but it's done so the it, it's too large as you can tell it's it's really big on me this is an extra large and i'm a big girl so i thought it would fit but as you can see it's pretty huge and so i should have done a large or a medium because this is really stretchy material so yeah this is the sweater <laughs> in a nutshell however i'm glad i did it because it gave me an idea now on how to make my sweaters and how to gauge things the neck was the worst part because of the adding one and because it is such a loose knit you can see any imperfection however i am happy with it now the reason the arms are so long i don't know where the book is but I'm looking for the book. Here it is. Nope, that's not it. Anyway, in the book, the reason the arms are so long, it told me to knit for eight rows. Well, every eighth row I had to um, decrease. And it said wait till it got to 18 inches, but the pattern didn't end at 18 inches. The pattern kept going. So I didn't know if I should stop the pattern once I got to the 18 inches or keep doing every eighth inch. Did that make sense? The pattern kept telling me to increase every eighth row. So increasing every eighth, eighth row gave me like a 24, 25 inch arm length as opposed to stopping at 18 inches, which should have brought me to about here. So I didn't know what to do. So I just continued to follow the pattern and ignore the measurements. So that's why the arms are this long. But everybody said they like the long arms because it looks cozy. And I guess it does. You know, it, it, it does look cozy or whatever. So it's not too bad. Maybe I'm being hard on myself. But I feel like... This is the extra. So it could have... That's a lot of yarn. So it could have been a little bit smaller... And I should have done it in a medium, but I always am nervous doing something in a smaller size because I am a larger woman. So next time I know, when I make the next shaker's rib, I'll know to follow the pattern for a medium. This was just me trying to make one to get the turtleneck together. And I did bind off a little too tightly for me, but it's okay. So um, this is my first completed sweat. And also, after I finished this sweater, I got so excited. I'm making this sweater here. Let me show you. This merino wool sweater out of my plus size knit books. This merino wool sweater. I do have merino wool, but before I use my expensive yarn to make another sweater, I decided to do it on some inexpensive yarn so I had to get it together y'all so I am using Caron one pound 100% um, acrylic yarn to make that merino wool sweater and this is how far I've gotten so far and it's just a normal stocking knit stitch with a, a stitching a different stitch at the bottom so 
it's coming out okay i'm not running into any mistakes i've got my flow on so we'll see how this one turns out and so since i was in the knitting mood <laughs> and i had bought some new yarn of course you know how it is when you buy new yarn you have to use new yarn i decided to make a ross hat out of the mandala mandela however it's pronounced yarn and if you guys seen any of my previous videos i feel like the, it's dark in here but i'm not sure if you guys have seen any of my previous videos you will know that i um used to use needle knitting in the round on circular needles in order to knit my hats but the bottoms of the hat were too loose for example i think i have a hat here this hat that i made which is a ross hat but see how loose it is so knitting in the round on circular needles hasn't given me a tight stitch even when i use a needle size smaller for the ribbing and then continue with the larger needle at the beginning it never worked out this hat turned out okay because it's a beanie hat so it's not as bad because it's meant to be a looser hat however i've made like three hats since that hat and all of them have been loose so i stuck these on the double pointed needles to make the ross hat and um it seems like it's going to be snugger snugger it's going to be uh more snug than the knitting in the round so we're going to see how that goes and that's my other completed work so really that's all i wanted to come over here and show you guys oh and i cut my hair again of course you guys know i love the shave side so ooh, ooh. anyway <laughs> So I just wanted to come on here and talk to you about the sweater. One thing I also noticed about this sweater is the stitching. You can't really do tight of a stitching because you will be able to see it. And it's not so bad here, but because I'm short and I made it extra large, it just doesn't look right because it's not coming the right place on the sweater. So that's another thing. But I don't think it's bad for a first time. I think I did a really good job. And this is a great sweater to throw on to run out of the house real quick or to stay in the house and be cozy. I mean, I think I did a good job, yay me. Um, I finished, <laughs> and that's the most I can say. I didn't finish the mohair sweater, but I finished this one. So I'm proud of myself for finishing. I'm proud of myself for actually understanding a pattern. I'm proud of myself for being able to do a middle bind off. So I, this is a win for me. This is a huge, huge win for me. So yay! Um, I feel like I'm all over the place. I've showed a completed work. I've showed my two whips. Am I all over the place? I think I am, but it's okay. So um, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? Um, a subscriber by the name of Melanie P. I'm not going to give you her last name. She suggested that I do a tag because I want to do a giveaway once I reach 100 subscribers. And thankfully, um, thanks to my um, my uh, Joanne's yarn haul video, not the yarn haul video, but the Joanne's walkthrough of the yarn, that video has given me almost, I'm like 40 people away from 100. So that video is bringing me closer and closer to my 100 subscribers. Yay! So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tag video where I talk about knitting, all things knitting. And if you guys want to see me do a getting to know me video, post some questions in the description box. What do you want to know about me? Non-knitting related, knitting related, craft related, just life related. Whatever you want to ask, put it in the description box below. Please be kind. So please be kind <laughs> in the comments box, but ask me anything you want me to uh, answer and I'll answer it for you. But I am going to be uploading a um, knitting video, a, ta a knitting tag video, answering a whole bunch of questions regarding knitting and all that good stuff. And if you enjoy that video, let me know and put some questions below and I'll do an all about me tag. Now, because you all love the Joanne video so much i'm thinking i'm going to go to michael's this weekend and i'm going to go through the aisles of michael's with the wide lens not the little 
short lens. I'm going to go through Michaels and show you some of their yarn. And um, because they are having a sale this weekend, this weekend is the weekend of the 19th, I think. So this is going to be one, two, two videos back. But with my, when I show sales, I tend to post those immediately in case you have a Joann's or a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby near you. I want you to have the benefit of the sale also. So I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby this weekend, probably tomorrow, and I'm going to shoot a video of everything that Hobby Lobby has on sale, not on sale. And I promise I'll try my best to get the angle right. I know I'll get the angle right. So what else did I want to talk about? I've talked about my Ross hat. I've talked about my sweater. I've talked about my completed work. And I think that's all I had. This is a short episode video. I feel it was rushed, but you know, I've had coffee and I'm like, ay, 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 ay. So thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for the comments. I answer every single comment you guys put. I do listen to what you say. And so I am gonna implement it. So I am going to see if I can do a giveaway. The giveaway may be soon because I'm already at 60 something subscribers. So the giveaway may be in a couple of weeks, but I'm gonna do the two giveaways and then I may buy some new yarn and want to donate some new yarn. I may give away some of that big twist yarn that I used when I made my son's lovely lace blanket, but I have them in a variety of colors. I may do some of that, give away that yarn, but I just wanna kind of show you guys that I appreciate you supporting me. So I believe that's all I had. I think this hat is going to be great. Thank you, Smells Like Yarn Guy. I appreciate the free pattern. If you want a free pattern for a hat, go to Smells Like Yarn. It's called the Ross Hat. His pattern is free. And so um, try it out. So I hope this hat comes out, you know, perfect. It's nice and snug. Um, the sweater, I think is going to come out great. It's acrylic. So you have to, you want, you can wash it, but you have to lay it flat to dry. But so far it's coming out pretty good. My stitching is really tight, but this is a US 10 knitting needle. So it's supposed to be kind of tight anyway, based on the pattern. So I'm excited to see how that works out. And I'm excited to show you what Hobby Lobby has. So I think that's going to do it for this video. Look forward to the yarn tag video and look forward to the Hobby Lobby video. If I feel like going to Michael's, I may go. But you guys know how I feel about Michael's. <sighs> look. I just have a hate, hate relationship with Michaels. So we'll see. I may go into Michaels if I'm feeling, you know, in the mood for Michaels, but um, I will do a Hobby Lobby uh, video and show you what they have on sale this weekend. And I think that's gonna do it for me this video. This is like the shortest video ever, or the shortest episode ever, but I just wanted to come on here and show you guys the finished product. I guess looking at it, it isn't too bad. Let's see, without tripping myself up and falling all over the place. There you go. And this is my boom boom. So this is where it ends. So as you can see, it's knitted correctly, but I think that's when I had to frog back some. You can see that. And this is it folded. And this is it unfolded, like literally. <laughs> so that's how it looks. So I guess it's not too bad, but it's not perfect. So anyway, we'll see how the next sweater turns out. Um, and I'll showcase that one for you. Uh, the one, the one I'm doing now in red. And I'll show you how the Ross hat looks. But I think that's it for this video. I'm sorry if it was all over the place. I'm sorry if I whoosh, whizzed through it and went too fast. I'm feeling energetic. Maybe because I'm excited because I finished something that wasn't a hat or a scarf. So um, like I said, click like, click subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll be doing the giveaway. Um, 
And I may give you a heads up before I do the giveaway so you'll know that it's coming and you can watch that video. So I think that's about it. Look forward to the tag and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.